morning. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning. I have been up since four. <laughs> My husband goes to work very early on Tuesday mornings and a couple of days a week he goes over to work really early and I have to make breakfast and lunch. And he's intolerant to a lot of food so I have to make literally two dinners. So anyway, um, Echo, stop. Um, so now he's gone off to work about an, over an hour ago and I am about to clean up the house a little bit and, and then I'm gonna take Toki f to be socialized. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna take him. I, maybe the same place so that he gets used to things. Um, yesterday after well, yesterday when I took him to be socialized, I forgot to bring my treat. So that so that was that didn't go as well as I was hoping it would go. And then today, uh, after I finished filming and was in process of editing yesterday, uh, last yesterday late afternoon, I discovered I was trying to cook, edit. There were like a lot of things going on, and basically I had uh, I was I had oil on a frying pan and it burnt. And then instead of just tossing out the frying pan, it was one of those Teflon nonstick ones. So I know it's carcinogenic. Um, instead of instead of like turning it off and tossing it away, what did I do? I put the food in. I don't know what made me do that. So the food was completely wasted. I tossed the pan. I was coughing. I had the entire house, all the windows and doors open so that it would air out. What's going on, Tokiwoki? <laughs> um, so it was, it was sort of chaotic. Plus, I did like two or three loads of laundry. It was really busy. Anyway, hopefully today will be a little bit better. I don't know. I never know. Usually my life is pretty boring, but I don't know what happened yesterday. It was just chaotic. I think it was really Toki. <laughs> Um, anyway, so here we go. I'm gonna go and clean the house a little bit and then I'm gonna take Tokyo for, for a walk or to be socialized. Okay guys, uh, I think there was somebody, I don't remember who, but somebody would ask me, what is my most used bag? And really, to be honest, the most used bag is this. It's the Mark by Mark Jacobs little crossbody bag. It has, um, it, the, the strap is not detachable, but it is so convenient. It is so, I use it to go uh, take the dogs for walks. Um, it fits, oh, I know she, oh my, Toki wants to go out. Uh, my clay, my phone, my earphone, the poopy bag for the dog, and another small little wallet, and I'm good to go, and it's so easy. I don't have to worry about whether it gets wet or not. It was, I got it on sale for like under a hundred bucks, and oh, and it still looks fantastic. I think there's a little bit of fraying on the edges here, but the corners have smoothed out a little bit, but the there is no like i don't see it's still black right it's it's amazing for so you don't need to spend a boatload of money for to have quality bags anyway there it is before i take toki for socializing i'm going to take him to the backyard good boy good potty good potty Good potty. All right, let me show you what our backyard looks like. That's our neighbor's backyard. But um, there's some, I have not developed all of my property um, for the reason that I didn't want to encroach upon um, the wildlife that lives in the back. We do have deer. I think there's, uh, we've seen foxes. There may be coyotes. We've seen hawks around here. And that's why when Toki was a puppy, I had to always go out with him because he was tiny and I didn't want him to be picked up by a hawk. Um, we do have owls, raccoons in the backyard. We did 
did make a pack, but it was I was getting bitten alive with mosquitoes, and I I was worried that an animal might come out, and so we just fenced it off. This, but this is a walk path that we've made. So, but it's sometimes nice in a cool weather to come out here and sort of. I used to sit here, but now it's all been it's all messed up. Probably needs to get it all cleaned up. Um, yeah, so this is our backyard. It doesn't, it feels like you're in the country, but really we're not. Um, we're only about 20 minutes from downtown, maybe less. Um, I am close to all the major shopping areas within 10 minutes of where we live. So it's actually really nice. This is this is what it looks like and it just feels sometimes I just come out here and not during summer because summers are oh see he's found a ball I don't know we found so many tennis balls that we didn't even know existed because he will just find them let me see what is that what is that oh that is not a tennis ball it's a toy what is this toy huh yeah yeah i'm gonna have to wash that out plus we have a little stream that it's an underground water that just comes out so we made a little stream and um of course when it when we have torrential rain the the uh river rocks that we put in would just you know move so i'm gonna have to have them have the guys um redistribute that What are you doing, mister? <sighs> mister, Toki. Yeah, you don't care. Really? This is gonna be very dangerous. I'm gonna have to take that all away from you. Here, no, 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 no. Another toy gone because you've destroyed it. I'm gonna try to take both of them for walk or socialization. We'll see. Come on. Yes, we're just sitting here and just feeding him in, in the shopping uh, strip mall. Okay, Boomer's here too. Yes! Toki, down. We're in Petco. I'm trying to have him not be nervous. Boomer! Toki, down. Yes, good boy. <laughs> Now you can stand up and not be so scared, huh? Toki! Yes, good boy! And you want treats too? Yeah? Oh, I'm completely out. So that means Toki gets the last one since he's the one who's training. Okay guys, that's it. If you like this video, <laughs> if you like this video, share and subscribe and click the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload more videos. Okay, bye.